Can you discuss adjustable limiter strap? <laughs> Is it good, bad, needed, or not necessary? <laughs> so, are there any officials in here from Skidoo? <laughs> Try not to incriminate myself. Actually, uh, are you putting this online? I'm dead. <laughs> no, not really. So, um, the adjustable lever strap that is available as an accessory through Skidoo and or it comes standard on the new Expert model is a really cool feature. And uh, uh, it, what it does is it allows you to adjust the length of your limiter strap in seconds rather than getting tools out and laying your slide on the side and getting your hands cold and wet and um, bloody knuckles and so on and so forth. And, and what it does is you can, it has two positions, long and short, so you can let it, let it all the way out or you can tighten it up. And what that does is it controls transfer. Um, it, uh, if you're climbing and your skis are coming too high in the air, you can adjust it to short and it'll keep your front uh, closer to the snow. Um, I, I choose not to follow this strategy. I want my limiter strap long all the time. I even make it longer than it comes from the factory. There's one more hole you can let it out. And for those of you who maybe don't understand the, what the limiter strap is or does is it's this little piece of rubber strap right on the very front of the suspension. And what it does is it shortens the stroke of the suspension travel and it adds more weight to the skis. Okay, so why don't I want to shorten my lumber strap? Because when I'm traversing the hillside and I pull my sled up to its edge, I want the sled to sit comfortably on the hillside and when the track or the suspension falls all the way out, if you can imagine, sleds on its edge, my lower, my downhill skis in the air, okay? I want the suspension to fall all the way out and push the track into the snow. This helps me maintain my edge and gives me the control I need to traverse across the hillside. If I shorten my lever strap, so the suspension won't push the track into the snow. Uh, now, my snowmobile is suspended up on two points, the ski and the rear axle. And there's nothing in the middle helping me hold the sled up out of the snow, okay? And it takes a lot more work to keep the sled on its edge. So I choose to let the limiter strap all the way out. I have uh, the full use of my suspension travel. And there's um, another method to keep uh, the skis down and control transfer using the rear springs rather than the limiter strap. So that was kind of a long way to answer that question. But, uh, so does that mean you're running your rear springs stiffer? Yeah, so the question is, do I run my rear springs spring stiffer? Yes, I have stiffer springs. Um, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this because I want to get some other, uh, get to some other questions, but um, quickly, I do run stiffer springs to control my uh, lift or sled transfer. Um, and the first question that comes to mind is, well, then it makes the ride harsher. Uh, the way I do it, it does not, okay? And I can explain that in more detail um, afterwards, perhaps. And there's actually a really great uh, explanation if you want to look at my website, riderasmussenstyle.com, uh, in the section, in the store section, where it describes the shock package. So it explains it in detail there.